Okay, today we are with Paige Wacker, Certified Clinical Hypnotherapist, and she gets a lot of questions about what hypnosis is and where it comes from, so we're going to hear from her what it really is and where it comes from. So take it away, Paige. All right, yeah, um, hypnosis has been in use since about 3000 BC. Quite a long time, actually, by the ancient Egyptians and the Greeks in what was then known as sleep temples. Their records reveal that the doctors and the healers of the time would have their patients come into these temples and place them in trance or hypnosis. Then they performed healings both physically and emotionally by having their patients dream about their illness and what was needed to cure them using the knowledge of their own minds. And they also even performed surgeries with little or no discomfort while the patient was in hypnosis. In fact, in India during the 1800s, hypnosis was the only anesthesia used for surgical procedures, ceasing only when ether was discovered and brought into use. So in reality, hypnosis is a relaxed yet focused state of mind, allowing the person access to information they may not normally be aware of. In hypnosis, you remain awake and aware of everything taking place, including the hypnotist's suggestions. Your mind has the ability to accept the suggestions and act on them as real. You always have the ability to reject or accept these suggestions. You always are in control. 